What's up? Uh, a new big man? Um, yeah, I mean, uh, you know, we just kind of actually he just showed up to, uh, last night. Uh, yeah, Shimmick's going to be a GA. I mean, we never replaced Ryan when he uh, went to Xavier. And, uh, you know, there's a ton of value having a, a big man GA. And there's not a lot of them out there. And obviously, he and I have a special relationship and a long history. And unfortunately, you know, the, um, the game, his body's not letting him play the game anymore. You know, he's a heck of a player and he's young, so he and I talked over the summer and, and, and fortunately it's worked out now, so I'm excited about it. I was going to say, that's got to be a lot of value for Henry and Dylan. I mean, it's, I think it's a lot of I mean, Shimmy was one of the smartest players I've ever been around, and, and he always, um, you know, he thought the game like a coach, and, you know, he just he's a very unique player, and and, and so to have someone, you're right, with that, that size and that experience, but just, you know, just having that, you know, body to, you know, the beautiful thing about Shimmy, he don't need a blue pack. So I mean, he, he just used his body to hit again. So it'll be it'll be great for all of our guys. Did he try to play this season, or where, where was? Yeah, he he was holding out. You know, hey, I'm, I'm not saying he won't he won't play. You know, I mean that that he's done forever. I mean, but you know, it's just his body's given him a lot of problems. You know, his end of his college career, he had major back surgery, and basically, you know, he had a he had a disc replaced. And uh, there's just been a lot of an Achilles injury and a knee injury, and there's been a lot of sin. And, you know, I think he's contemplating now. You know, he's a great student, so finishing up his degree and you know, seeing if this coaching thing works out or, you know, going into the real world. Well, GAs can get on the floor. Do you expect they'll be playing out there? Or uh, I mean, we haven't even talked about that. We haven't even talked about that. I don't know what kind of shape Big Shimmy's in, so I don't want to, you know, put him in, put him at risk. Yeah. Well, the other day on the radio show, you said something about letting Cedric and Courtney lose a little bit. Yeah. Well, you know, I mean, um, as these seasons go, it's really funny, and, and it happens every year. You know, you get a new player, you know, whether it's a freshman or a transfer, and, and there's just a little bit of an ebb and flow to the season. And, you know, they sometimes they start out really good. You know, they're, they're excited, we're excited. Then you start coaching them, you know, and, hey, you know, you're, you're pointing out mistakes. And they're good kids, so they're trying not to make mistakes. So they sometimes get caught in between a little bit. And, and you know, but, it, but it's part of the growth process. I mean, you know, you got to keep coaching them to help them get better in your system. And then, then at some point, you know, you also got to, give them the freedom to go out and, 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 and be who they are. So, you know, hopefully we're at that point of the season and, um, you know, it's, it's nothing anybody did wrong and, and they both have really, really, really helped us this year. So, you know, we need to continue to do that. Cedric talked about um, the guards and forwards leaning really better and not letting Azulis and Umar do all the work, just attacking the ball. Do you see the same well, thing? Well, 100%. Well? I mean, listen, and our bigs need to rebound better. I mean, rebounding's a five-man job. And, um, you know, when we rebound really well, we're a pretty good team. And, and, I mean, I don't think that's that's rocket science. I mean, that's kind of how basketball works. So, you know, we, we hopefully we can you know, step up our urgency on the glass, and uh, and hopefully that'll help us out. You mentioned Oregon being a more desperate team. Yeah. How do you address that with your team? Well, I mean, you, you just tell them. I mean, like that, that's how these seasons go. Teams coming off losses sometimes are a little more desperate than teams that haven't. And uh, you know, but uh, now that being said, I, I'd always rather be on a winning streak. You know, what I mean, but uh, but yeah, I mean, Oregon was a team. You know, they. they you know, had maybe a little bit of a rough start to the season for whatever reason, and I'm sure injuries are part of it. Um, and, uh, you know, they, they obviously had a tough night on Thursday against Arizona State, and, and they came out and they played really, really hard, and I thought they played really, really well against us. So, you know, after that game, I mean, obviously you're not happy you lost, but, you know, that, that one hasn't really stuck with me. I mean, we're moving on and excited for this week. Are you seeing any fatigue or anything in your players, like in the second half of games? I mean, for, for sure. I mean, you know, we were getting a little bit, you know, tired. Certain guys are, so you know, we're going to try to, you know, whether we, you know, you know, mix up our rotation a little bit or, or practice a little bit differently. But you know, it's part of it. I mean, part of it is, you know, you got to have some mental toughness in you, and you got to fight through the fatigue as well. As a coach, when you in the past have considered starting to change and stuff like that, what goes into that whole thought process? You know, traditionally, I haven't really done it. So I mean, you know, I mean, I, I, I'm a guy that believes in certainty and you know just because somebody starts doesn't mean that they're gonna you know get all the minutes I mean there, there's no there, there's nothing there that you know you, you can rotate your guys however you want so you know I mean I think you're always just taking consideration what's best for your team overall and, and what's best for the individual player. What's your thoughts on USC? It seems like not a lot of people are talking about them. I mean yeah I mean it's, that's kind of seems like the case a little bit here and there but they're a good team you know they're a really good team and uh, you got they have two really good perimeter players and you know, Drew Peterson's really unique college player, and Boogie's, you know, an experienced, you know, bucket getter, and and then Morgan's really coming on inside for him, and then, you know, those other guys, you know, might be role players, but they're talented. I mean, they got length and athleticism and talent, and uh, and they're aggressive. So I mean, they're they're, they're a handful, and, and 
we know it's gonna we know it's gonna be a battle. Do you have a shot blocker in there like Morgan? Does that change a lot what you like to do? We played against a lot of shot blockers yeah. this year, so I mean, yeah, it doesn't make it easier. There's no doubt about that. Are you confident this team better shooting than it has been? Um, yeah, I mean, I you know I, I'm not a guy that gets too caught up in the numbers. You know, you're just you know you're you're trying to you know just win game to game, but uh, but yeah. I mean, I have a lot of guys that I feel when they have open shots are are good shooters. You know, I think you know you talk about making shots, but the, you know, I think the next part is you know, are we working to get better shots? And uh, you know, to me, it comes down to shot quality at the end of the day. You know, as opposed to just making. Can you talk about the just the second half fatigue, but also this is like what the third week in a row where you've got you're going to have a day game after a Thursday game and, and two yeah, really I mean, tough teams this week it's too. It's scheduling. I mean, it's scheduling. It's dictated by TV and. Uh, you know, I mean, obviously, you know, you're, you're getting put in, in prime time slots. So, you know, you, which, which, which it's an envious position to be in. It's where you want to be. So we're not complaining. We're not we're not overthinking it. And, you know, we're hoping we play well Thursday, fully energized, and we hope we turn around Saturday and play fully energized. One more thing on Shimmick. How far are you, I assume you had something to do maybe even recruiting him. How far do you guys go back? You know, I'd have to, so it might be I recruited him. I mean, yeah. long time. I mean, a long time. I mean, he's... I don't know, I'd have to look at the under-19 World Championships. I first saw him at Hamburg, uh, Germany. First time I saw him. And then you guys, did you guys keep up when he's playing pro? Oh, for year? sure. I mean, Shimmy's family. You know, he's family for us, so uh, yeah, no, no doubt about it. Did he ever say, hey, I might, maybe I'll come work for you someday or something like that? Yeah, that's that's formal. You know, I, I, just, I just told him, hey, you know, I, I don't know exactly what my staff looks like, but, you know, if, if your body, you know, doesn't allow you to play anymore, let's talk. And, you know, I... I I owe that guy a lot. I mean, that guy did a lot for me, yeah. and uh, you know, and a lot for the teams I was involved with. So, um, anything I can do to, to help him with his next steps in his life, I mean, I'm here for it. You recommend watching your TV show tonight? What TV show? That's what I'm not My TV show. Kind of your, your pickleball highlights. Well, it's oh, all about oh, it. I haven't played pickleball in a couple weeks, so yeah, I might, I might watch it to get it in my own fix. I didn't even know it was on. My SID doesn't tell me anything, so I'm in the dark. Uh, I mean, yeah, hey, I guess if you're interested, watch it, but if you, if you, I don't know, if you have something better on, watch that, so I'll let you make your own choice. Well, we get to decide if you really are a football player, you say you are, right? Well, Bruce, I'm not going to trust your opinion on that one. <laughs> no, you said that. Right? You said you were oh, the best. Oh, I never said I was the best. No, 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 no. Uh, I, I, Bruce. I know, I'm not the best. Yeah, you I would definitely take that challenge. <laughs> you complimented the tennis coaches, but on your... But Brian asked you on the radio, who's yeah, the man, best, and you said, I'm comfortable saying me. Wait, 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 maybe with the lower level players that I play with, but the upper level players, I'm the worst. So, probably right in the middle somewhere. He does, he does go fully horizontal to make a dive. Oh, wow. You give it a, that made it? That made it in. Oh, nice. How did I look when I played? The backwards hat was a good touch. Was it a good touch? A little Andy Roddick look? Yeah. Okay. I like it. Could that be something though, like, you know, just take a break from the week and thinking about the games this weekend where you actually tune in? Yeah, I mean, I would have loved to yeah. play, but it's been raining. Oh, so yeah. what am I supposed to do the last few days? I mean, no, I mean, I've, yeah. I've My, just been working. I've just been working, and, you know, I mean, I, I don't think people realize, you know, when you, you, know, you have two games a week, and it's a lot, you know, I mean, you know, and, and, and as a head coach, you know, you're, you know, you're not just, you might maybe not be as, you're not just scouting one team, you know, I, I'm scouting both. And when I watch, you know, I'm kind of, treating it in my mind like I'm still an assistant coach. So it's a lot of work to prepare for two teams, you know. Thanks, All right, guys. Enjoy the show. I didn't even know. I didn't even know. I mean, I've heard you mention that you went to.